Good morning, class, receiving schools and teachers. Good morning, Mrs. Watangas. How are you all this morning? We are very well, thank you, and how are you this morning? I'm very well, just like you all, thank you. You may be seated. Now, class, let's look at what we have here. This one looks, uh, this is a piece of paper, but um, it's a piece of paper that's representing something. I'd like someone to tell me what we have here on the um, whiteboard. Carol? Carol? Pattern of a pillowcase, very good, thank you. Pattern of a pillowcase. Now, in cutting this pattern, in cutting this pattern, which equipment did we use? Which tools or equipment, sewing equipment, did we use for cutting this pattern? Don't worry. Don't worry. Which tools or equipment did we use for cutting this uh, pillowcase? Scissors. A pair of scissors. What else besides the scissors, pair of scissors did we use for? The whole process, drafting and cutting. Yes, Patrick. We have scissors. Tape measure. A tape measure. Now, what did we use? What did we use instead of a tape measure? What did we use instead of a tape measure, Nigel? Ruler. A ruler, good. Any, any other equipment we use besides this, um, besides the scissors, tape measure and ruler? Ovin, any other equipment we use besides scissors, tape measure and ruler? Marker. Markers, yeah. We use markers, pen, pencil, to mark out whatever is needed on the pattern as well. Mercy. Newspaper. Newspaper. Okay, so these are all the things that we used for drafting and cutting out the pillowcase pattern. Now from this, which ones are the actual sewing equipment? From these things we have here, which ones are the actual sewing equipment? Let's save you. Scissors and tape machine. Scissors and tape measure. We can also say ruler. Where we don't have tape measure, we can always use rulers. Now, we have a look at the pattern we have, the pattern that we have when we come to the actual cutting of the pillowcase. We will look to find out more about what it means by place on fold, seam allowance, flap. We will find out all that when we come to the actual lesson on cutting um, pillowcase. Now, our topic is still on class, pattern making. Now, we started with drafting of the pattern on paper, then cutting of the pattern from paper, and we will be going on to 
using that pattern, paper pattern, to actually cutting the pillowcase. Uh, we all read together our activity for this lesson, class together. Okay, so that is our activities for this lesson. We will be, you will be observing a demonstration. And after the demonstration, you should be able to cut your own. Now, before we go on to cutting the pillowcase, I'd like us to have a look at what we have on the pattern so we know what they all mean when we come to cutting the actual pillowcase. Now, these are known as seams. Now, example, I have a shirt here. I have a shirt here. The edge of the uh, shirt right down and where the sewn part is. So the area between the stitching and the edge of the fabric is known as seam, okay? The area between the stitching and the edge of the fabric is known as the seam. Now in here, it says one centimeter seam allowance, meaning you have to leave one centimeter space between the edge of the fabric to where your stitching is going to be. And that, that area, that is an allowance you are leaving so you can, you will sew along that one centimeter line up the raw edges of your pillowcase once you cut them out. Now, place on fold. Place on fold, you have all that on your uh, pattern that you have made. Now, where there is no seams, okay, where a seamless garment, meaning a garment, a garment or anything that has to be cut that won't have any seams, it must be always, the pattern must be always placed on the fold. Example, I have this T-shirt now. The t-shirt is folded, and where the folded part, that becomes the fold of the fabric. And so, to place the pattern on the fabric, the pattern has to be placed where it says place on fold. It must be placed on the folded part of the fabric. Okay, now, we will be going through the steps in cutting a pillowcase. And this is what we are going to do. I will be having one person from each group, uh, receiving school teachers. I hope you are observing and seeing what's happening. You have to have a person from each group, a student from each group to be the observers as we cannot have all the students standing around the table. So we are going to have a student from every group and those students are going to be the observers, okay? And these observers will be observing what the teacher is going to demonstrate, how I am going to demonstrate cutting the pillowcase. Then after that is over, the observers from every group go back to their own groups, and those observers are going to demonstrate to their friends in their own groups. So we have teacher and students as observers, few selected students, and then we have student observer to the group 
members, okay? These are observers. Observers. Selected, so we have seven groups, so we have seven students, okay? These are the student observers. and group members. Okay, once again, I will have one student from each group to be the observers. And the rest of us, rest of the class, you will be reading the steps for me as I demonstrate to your friends who will be observing. Now, once I finish with the demonstration, every student who has been an observer goes back to your own groups, and you are going to demonstrate to your friends how to cut the pillowcase pattern. Okay, so if I can have... I can have all the students who are going to observe. Take my pattern down. Some of you come here. Some Somebody can stand there. If you are short, you have to stand there so you can see. Okay, let me see. Now, if I can have the class to read for us the first step. Class together, the first step. Fold the fabric in half inside out. Okay, that's my fabric. Now I'm going to fold this fabric inside out, meaning the inside comes out. Okay, the inside comes out. So the first step is to fold the fabric in half inside out. Okay, let's go to... Now, if I can have the class to read for us the second uh, step. Okay, um, we have an error there. Uh, place on fold. Place on fold, and that is the place on fold part in the folded part of the fabric. So that is what I do, that is the folded part, okay? So I put the pattern where it says place on fold, it's placed on the fold. That's the folded part of the fabric. The pattern where it says place on fold is placed over the folded part of the fabric, okay. Thank you, class. If you can read for us the um, third step. Bring the pattern family onto the fabric with taking pins about one centimeter from the edge. Okay, the next step, once you have done that, you are to pin the pattern, pattern onto the fabric family one centimeter away from the edge. So we already have our one centimeter seam allowance, so that is where we can pin. So I'll have some of somebody to help me from that end. Okay. So we can, uh, if we can get that done, along from here down. Onto the, the pattern, onto the fabric. 
here, here, here. It's this way. Okay. Okay, we make sure our pattern is flat. Onto the okay, okay, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. See how I'm pinning. You don't have to yeah. lift the water. See, Just push, it yeah. in. push it in and bring it through. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. Okay, class. If we can read together the fourth step, please, everyone together. Okay, so the four edges, uh, this one here extremely four should be um, three because one is already placed on four. So we have one, two, and three. So see how I'm holding the pattern with the fabric and the scissors. Okay, so I am going to cut along. Okay. Make sure the pattern is flat as you cut along. Okay. Can I have somebody to cut from that area down, that corner down? Mm. Huh? Okay, I'm holding the pattern. Give it to Rachel. Rachel, you're gonna cut from that end right to this end, yeah. So we have cut out our pillowcase, the pattern already on. Now, that is how it would look like when it comes to cutting the what? Um, the fabric using the pattern. We have the pattern, and that's the fabric. Okay, let's see, what does it say next? Now, can I have the class, please? Once again, you read for us uh, step number five. Everyone together. Mark down the flat 70 centimeter on the upper fabric from the top row edge. Okay. Now, you see, you already had your 17 centimeter line rolled. So, what happens? We mark it down. Okay, that's where our mark should be. Okay, we mark it down. That's where our mark should be. Okay, now let me see. We bring that down. So, we have that there. We have this there. You see the next step? 
What does our next step read, uh, class, together? Remove the pins and the pattern. Remove the pins and the pattern, meaning we remove all those. Okay, if you can remove them, put the pins here. Okay, and the pattern too. Hold the pattern, put it underneath. Okay. Now, now what is our next step? Uh, the seventh step class. Okay, that's the flaps we marked in. I already put this on now. Here it says on the above fabric. Don't fa forget there are two fabrics, pieces of fabric here. So only the top fabric. Okay, so we are to cut along the mark or line. So if you want to get a line done, you do so, or you have marked with a pin, and then you cut across it. So I will turn the fabric so it faces me, and where the mark is, only the top fabric, okay? So you have, see, your top piece is a bit shorter than the bottom piece. Okay. Now, class, once you get the two pieces cut, you have the top or the fabric that is above shorter. You hold the top one up. Shorter than the bottom one so one the top one you have it short and the bottom one you have it longer thank you Hayano. okay let's see now what does our next step that is step eight what does it say if you can get me one thing to make sure we are going to mark in the seam allowance. Okay, sorry, if I can have the pattern. Now, seam allowance, how many centimeters is it going to be? One, here. Okay, so from the edge, the raw edge in, we are going to mark one centimeter. The same on the other side. What about the flap edges? That's the flap edges. Two centimeters. Two centimeters, okay? So let's do that quickly. Can I have one marker of ten? One centimeter. Okay. So here we have... Okay. Now I put one in the middle so it is see two. Let's come in. Okay. We'll do that here. We do the same on the other side. One centimeter. Okay, I hope you are observing every step we are going through because you are the ones who are going through demonstrate to your friends okay now it says we are to mark in so when you see that you see where the mark is you can have dotted lines like that okay up there from there to the next dotted line from here up let's see okay um, now this one says um, the flap is two centimeters so we have 
this time two centimeters here okay I'll have somebody to do the for us make uh, dotted lines okay so somebody can uh, just make dotted lines across to death mm -hmm. see your line here so you come to that line Thank you. Now, these dotted lines are where you are going to do your stitching, okay? Where you have put your dotted lines, that's where your back stitch is going to go. Here's where your back stitch is going to go. Follow the dotted lines, okay? This is where the slip hemming is going to be. Now, it is two centimeters because we have to double fold it, okay? We fold it once and then twice, okay? And then you pin it. Now, we will have to turn it and do the same to the other side. What we have done here. How many centimeters do you think it's going to be? Two. Two, Two centimeters, okay? Do it, um, Justin. And you help him. Two centimeters in. Okay, come over there. Okay, good. Now, who is going to make the dotted lines? One girl, dotted lines from, from that end up to that end. Okay, so that is how your pillowcase is going to look like, see? That's the size of it, okay? But you will be told as we go through step by step where we should start cut, uh, sewing first to the end. This is where we are going to make the hem. Another hem will be done here, okay? And then the side with back stitching. So once you get back to your group, you are going to help your friends, okay? You have been my observer, I demonstrated, and you are going to be the demonstrators to your groups, and uh, your group members are going to be your observers. observers. Okay, thank you. You can take your seat. Now, um, if I can have everyone this time, you have had your friends, once again from every group, who have observed the demonstration. And they will, in your groups, they will in your groups demonstrate to you what they have observed being demonstrated. They're going to observe to you, um, demonstrate to you what they have observed. And in the next, in our next lesson, in our next lesson, every one of us will be following the steps with the help of our observers from each group to cut out our pillowcase, our pillowcases using the patterns that we have made. Now, once again, why is a pattern very important? Why is it necessary to have 
pattern made for anything that has to be sewn. Why is it necessary to have a pattern made for anything that needs to be sewn? If I can have someone. Why is it important to have patterns made for anything that has to be sewn? There are about uh, four, four things we looked at. Yes, Adrian. Um, to guide you to do the right sewing. To guide you through sewing. Anybody else? It's important to have a pattern so it will guide you to sewing what you need to sew. Anything else? Yes, to Langa. It will lead you to end finish. Okay, good, thank you. Now there, there may be others, but those are the two uh, answers that we got from our friends. And once again, our next lesson together class is going to be still cutting the pillowcase, okay? Now, resources, we still have the same resources. Now, from the three, which resources, which resource is uh, to be used by our teachers in the receiving schools? Can I have someone to tell us? which resource is to be used by our teachers in the receiving schools to help them to gather more information. Jennifer? Home Economics for Papua New Guinea Book One. Very good, thank you. Now, as usual, what do you think, Awa? This time it's not key word, but key phrase, because it's more than one word. Who would like to guess? What do you think our key phrase is going to be? Yes, Riku? Okay, Riku would like to um, guess? Cutting pillowcase. Cutting pillowcase, okay, let's see. Okay, cutting pillowcase is a key phrase, thank you, Riku. And um, with that, good morning class the receiving schools and teachers. Okay, thank you all and you all have a good day.